Hey you guys, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel, my name is Kiafa. Welcome back to my tribe, you guys. Okay, so in this video, I was just gonna cover something that is a little more controversial and I know that it's gonna be some people that may or may not agree with this video, but you know, welcome to my channel. So, I, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. So, I wanted to just talk to you guys about a question that I got a couple weeks ago when I was doing my live for 30 days and i just wanted to come kind of elaborate a little bit more on it so someone asked me if there was oh um any racism in the or and so what i'm gonna say today is that racism even though you know you would hope that we i could come on here and just be like no there's no racism in the or i would be lying to you if i told you that and I would be lying to both black and white people if I came on here or anybody that's in between and told you guys that it didn't show up in the OR. The truth is that racism is a systematic issue it's throughout all of our systems and it does show up in the OR and it, it does a disservice to not only the, the healthcare professionals but for the patients as well. But being a healthcare provider and being an African American black woman I have seen racism. I've been subject to, you know, racism, whether it's because my name is Kiafa, because I speak a certain way, because I'm from the South, because I have a certain type of personality, whatever the case may be. You know, a lot of times, some, some people in this world, we've been programmed differently. So as far as me, I've been programmed in a way that, you know, society would have me believe that I'm less than, and that if you are, you know, blonde hair blue eye or at least you know fair skinned then that you know that that's what is the um right way to be i guess is a good way to say it but i don't think it is fair for black women to have to be smarter and to be you know more uh what's the word like you just have to be more you just can't be a regular basic person and go in the OR because you're already kind of looked at a certain type of way because of who you are or you know who people may think you are but if you are white the the problem is too that you've been taught that you are superior than the black people and that black people are inferior when the truth is because you've been like some have been taught that and there's this white privilege that they don't have to do as much and that does translate over into the operating room and you know hopefully making this video if you are white and you you know tend to not do more because your black counterpart does everything instead of letting them do it go help them and to the black people that's out there that's doing more because your white counterpart is not and not able to or not willing to pick up this slack then just let it be what it is and at the end of the day it all of the energy the positive energy that you put out will come back to you but i'm just here to say it does happen there are not only is karen out walking her dog karen's are scrubbing into the or karen's are in charge of the or and it might be karen's or whatever the male version of it is of a karen is you know but they have presented themselves in the or i have seen them and now not only are there karens that look like the karen that we seen walking the dog it's some karens that kind of look like you know me and that's kind of if i if i was a if i was a um a black person or even a white if i was a black person and i encountered another black person that likes to step on other black people neck for whatever reason then i would just be you know cautious because that person is doing some traumatic rejecting normally when black people don't um can't connect with their own kind or they find a reason to um distance themselves from other black people is because they're going through some type of traumatic healing or a traumatic situation and they just feel like they can't connect if i was a white person and i seen a black person disconnecting with other black people i would be weary of that black person because they are still healing through some traumatic you know situation and if they'll turn on their own kind of people they'll definitely turn on you so don't think that it don't happen like that because it, it is it's very crazy like that and some people that will just try to be you know they'll suck up more to you know the administrators and think that that's gonna actually get them a, a upper hand in the um situation but all that does is just give the management or whoever is 
you know, whoever that uh, person is trying to suck up to, it just makes the other person look really like weak. And so, but just to reiterate, and this video is gonna be real short, but I did wanna just share that with you guys because I know it ain't gonna be nobody that's gonna tell you that it's racism in the OR, but it is. And if you black, then you're gonna have to know more, especially if you're a black girl. You're gonna have to know more, you're gonna have to be better, you're gonna have to try to learn everything that you can about the cases. Sometimes there are gonna be situations that you know people aren't gonna give you the information that you need so that you can do the job, the best job that you can do. The, this is this happens in the OR, so I'm not trying to scare you, I'm not trying to like do nothing but share the truth with you guys because in orientation, when you get to your hospital, they're not gonna tell you that it's racism there. You, this is something that you're gonna have to figure out on your own. And sometimes, you know, people are gonna tell you like, you know, oh, it's not like that. But if you feel like it is, then it is. Perception is reality. So don't let nobody else tell you that how you feeling is irrelevant or they try to talk you out of how you feeling. If you do experience racism in the operating room, I would not go to Human Resources. I would go and get me a um, equal opportunity lawyer or I would start reporting it outside of the OR. And I say that because typically they all hang out together. <laughs> and sometimes the racism, when I say it's systematic, it goes all the way up. So I'm telling you this because I know it from my own experience and from watching others be, that have been in the game for longer than I have. And it just is what it is. At this point, I would advise you to make sure that you have, if you are in the OR or you considering going to the OR and you are black or white, it really don't matter for this part, but just be more open-minded and working on yourself. And for the black girls out there and the black guys that are working in the operating room, make sure you got, you know, you working on yourself, your mental health and your financial health and your spiritual health so that you don't stoop to levels that might put you in compromising positions when you're in these hospitals because, like I said, you got Karens and they come up in different forms and shapes and colors and stuff. And so be mindful of that, you guys. So that's all I got for you in this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think of this. Have y'all, have you been, you know, a victim to or had to be subjected to racism at your job? Or is it, you know, just a certain type of people that do, like, is, is racism not something that has happened to you? Let me know, you know, but for me, I've experienced it. I see people that look like me experience it. I see people that I don't really hear too many white people complaining about racism in in, in the workplace in the OR. But maybe sex, uh, sexism or something like that. But when it comes down to race, it's gonna be like you know, it, normally black girls are gonna be like the only black girls, or the black man might be like the only black man. And because racism is so deep within our roots here in America that is in the hospitals have deep roots just along with slavery. So if you're not aware of how the slave master allowed certain doctors like Dr. Sims to practice their medical, you know, skills on the slaves, then, you know, maybe you should go do some research and like look up the history of slavery in America and how it's very much tied to our medical and healthcare industry. But yeah, that's what I got for you guys in this video. I hope it was helpful. I mean, I'm not here to like be the Debbie Downer, but I mean, shoot, I'd rather you be mad at me for telling you the truth than for me to not have really gave you the full story and let so you can be completely prepared when you go into these medical facilities and understanding who you're dealing with. Now, what I will also say before I wrap this up is if you got stuff going on outside make sure you have multiple streams of income basically is where that's gonna, what i'm gonna lead to because if you're in this space and you're working and you know that you might be subjected to losing your job or getting lower evals or whatever because of your race then make sure that you are in a powerful position that if you need to leave you can leave and the only way that you're gonna be able to do that is to make sure that you have multiple streams of income because if you only have one stream of income then you're gonna be moving in a very fearful position you're not gonna move as freely as it like if, if Karen came in there and was talking sideways to you and you only got one source of income you might allow her to keep talking like that but if Karen talking to you sideways and you over here getting this um money from this way and this way and that other way then you're gonna walk out the door before you snap Karen that right so I'm just here to just share that with you guys all right see you guys on the next video